Hey guys, and welcome to the Playboy Mansion. This is my new and improved house. I was, uh, did a bit of a live stream last night, and I just let you guys, I only had like a hundred and something viewers, but I just let uh, the people that watch my live stream, uh, just sort of decide where I build stuff, and sort of help me design my house. So I'm going to put this back on build mode, because it's kind of, sort of easier to see what the rooms are, because I haven't really furnished them yet, so it just looks like uh, plain rooms. But um, basically in the top floor, I was going to just have one room and a staircase room, but I decided there's other rooms I need in the top floor. And um, I also decided I'm going to get a Gilded Daughter. I'm going to help out the people that left comments saying they wanted the Gilded Daughter. And uh, I know that the, if people did want to use a Gilded Daughter, they wouldn't want to run downstairs. Right? They wouldn't want to come in my portal, run all the way down here, run to this altar over here. And then go all the way back upstairs to use my glory. You know, that's it's pretty inefficient. People wouldn't be too happy with that. So what I've done is I've made a prayer altar over here so people can come in my house, run over to the prayer altar here. I know it's not one next to the, the portal room, but that's okay. It's not too far. And then the glory's right here. So that's pretty, that's almost as efficient as it gets for prayer training. So um, I just need to buy the materials to make a gilded altar. It's, I think it's something like three or four mil. I need for a Gilded Daughter, so I need to save up some money. And then there's the lecterns. I don't know how many people make tabs on this, but I guess I'm going to try and be able to afford the best one, so you can make, like, all the teleport tabs. And I think you can make some pretty good money making those as well. So, um, and through here we've just got a bedroom, if you want to bring back some girls uh, to my house. Uh, here and here we've just got a parlour. I still need to furnish this. And in here we have another bedroom. This is my bed. Nobody bring any girls back to my bed. And uh, in here is the the workshop room so um unfortunately there was a little design hiccup and uh, it doesn't quite match up but that's okay because it means that i've got this in a perfect sort of um closed in area so it means there's no doors on the outside so one thing i hate is when i have uh, house parties and, I, and people like run off way into the grassness and uh, but you can't do that in my house because i've got it like perfectly i've got all the rooms matching perfectly so through here is just that's just the kitchen there I'm going to be able to have a tea store, and then that's, I guess, will help me from flat packing anything to give my level construction level a boost. And here we've got a throne room, so we can build a... Uh, I'm hopefully want to make a really good sort of trap door, or maybe just a really cheap one. I don't know, something to go downstairs that's going to lead into the oblitique room downstairs. So this is just going to be like a trap door to fire people down there. And uh, so if I come back to the staircase, if I come back here... So this is going to be the start of the dungeon, and um, I've been designing it so it has the sort of stone rooms first of all and then it's going to lead into the dungeon room so these first rooms are going to be just sort of useful rooms so we've got a prayer altar here i decided to make another prayer altar just if people are wanting to train prayer for using these boxing rings it's just something convenient through here we've got a portal room as well just if i need it i want to make those portals uh, just for my own general use usefulness and here i'm going to make a boxing ring i'm going to have a combat ring and then this is just a little bonus room through here to fill up space, which is my costume room. I still need to furnish that. And that's one thing I thought about. Like, before when I got um, netting and construction, like, actually back in 2007, I think I got it, or maybe 2008, I used to have a construction shop where I had a thread on the forums and I sold um, flat packs. And what flat packs are is just, like, where I make the furniture, but it just takes up one inventory slot, and it means that you guys can take that flat pack, use it on this space, and it gives you it. So that means that um, I think it's level 50 construction to make the costume room. So once you've got the costume room, if I just show you, you can obviously make it the oak one at level 44, but the oak one doesn't store all of your costumes. It'll only store like one or two costumes, whereas the mahogany one can store all of your costumes. So obviously people that don't want level 80, but they want the level 80 mahogany box, they can buy that flat pack. So um, I was thinking about making some sort of shop where I make a whole load of flat packed um, costume room stuff and then people can just buy it off me or give me the mahogany planks equivalent for that or something like that. I need to work out some sort of uh, system for doing that but that would help me uh, on my way to get up the construction ranks and it would also help you guys if you're looking to get to furnish your rooms. So through here we've just got a games room and uh, in here is going to be where people drop down. So I'm thinking about making, I'll show you guys the choices that you have in your floor space. So you can make uh, some spikes for them to fall down on. You can have a tentacle pool. That's what I had in my last house. You can have a flame pit or a rock gnar. Now I'm thinking about going for the tentacle pool because once you follow the tentacle pool, if you have like the really, you can build like a prison wall around it. And if you have a really good one, it takes people forever to pick lock it out there. So if anyone does fall in here, they're gonna be they're gonna be stuck floating in a bit of water, and they're gonna have a big tentacle killing them. So it it does look kind of funny because people that have a bad thieving level are just stuck at the gate, like I can't pickpocket my way out, like because you have to like uh, 
you, you can't just open the gate to come out of there. You have to like pick the lock on it, and uh, everyone fails at it. It's kind of funny. So in here is just a dining room. And uh, oh, I remember there used to be a glitch. I don't know if this glitch still works, but if you build the tentacle pool and then remove the cage, it means you've just got a pool, and that means that people don't have to pick pick lock their way out, so they can just swim. And that's how you, you used to be able to do the swim emote smuggle. So like, you used to be able to just swim around your house. Like, you used to, everyone used to be like just swimming around their house as they walked around. It was kind of funny. I don't know if that still works. Probably not. I think it was patched by 2007. But in here, this, is, this isn't this is obviously my whole complete dungeon. I spent like 800k making these rooms. Like rooms are so expensive, like especially like a costume room, portal rooms, they're all, all over 100k each. You know this room right here, that's 150k. And I have another one there, that's 150k. So in here is basically just a corner room. And then I have another floor space. I was thinking about making fire on this one. I don't know, it's, it's just kind of fun, but having a fire and then no cage so people could run across it and then do damage. Just just little traps like that to catch people out. And here I've got another corner room. So this just leaves it really open so I can have rooms leading off that way, that way, that way, that way, or that way for my dungeon. I, it just leaves it really open. And uh, I'm going to leave it how it is now. I don't want to spend any more money doing my house because I spend so much money. And... Um, just buying rooms and furnishing them so I'm going to put all the money into just sort of buying doors uh, like like uh, training construction obviously doing oak doors I'm, I'm going to saving this stuff in my inventory I'm going to first of all furnish my uh, what's it called my workshop room is my workshop room downstairs oh it's upstairs so I'm going to make my workshop room because that means I'll be able to make flat packs and um, yeah I'm just really excited to make my house like I really want to make it like as useful as possible for me and you guys so if you guys come to my house you know you have you can train prayer efficiently you can make uh, teleport tablets efficiently you can repair your barrow's armor here is this the barrow's armor one banner easel I think that's one for making banners so where's the one for making armor is that is that this one the armored repair space the armor stand, alright, so this is where you can come and bring your barrels armor and repair it if you guys want to repair your barrels. And uh, this is the tool, the tools one. Now, uh, the bad thing about the tool one and the workshop bench is that you have to upgrade them. You can't just buy the best one, you have to buy every single one. So I don't have enough planks to do that. But I would like to make my workbench, which I think I can. Two oak plank and one steel bar. Why can't I make that? Oh, I have to make them all. It is that's weird. It doesn't say them all. So I'm gonna have to get some. I'm gonna have to bring all this stuff. Wow, that's a lot of crap. I need to bring. Um, and the clock making one. I think I have to upgrade each one of these as well. Yeah, I just start off with the first one, and go up the list. So that kind of sucks. But I'm basically good today. I'm gonna upgrade my workshop room and maybe work out some sort of system where I can sell flat packed furniture for you guys. So um, I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, so we got our first customer, or customer you could say, uh, he's basically come in my client chat, said he wanted me to make him some mahogany costume room flat packs, and uh, he gave me the planks, so I'm happy to do it for free, uh, so I'm going to work here. It's my first time flat packing in uh, 07, I used to do this all the time back in, uh, I think he said he wanted a cape rack, um, mahogany, and also a... Was it a wardrobe? What did he want? A magic wardrobe? Magic wardrobe. Mahogany. Cape rack and a wardrobe. Alright, give him these. There you go. And it's as easy as that. Now, um, I'm thinking about maybe having some sort of shop where I can do this. Like, it would be kind of cool if I could just make a bunch of these and be able to just hand them out because it's, it just helps me out with a little extra construction XP that's not going to cost <laughs> a lot. Um, I'm still going to do implings. Like, I've been slowly selling my dragon implings to buy, to keep buying oak planks, and that's what's gotten me to uh, so far level 81. Um, so I'm going to keep on doing maybe the odd imp live stream to just keep funding construction and, you know, let's see how far we can get. Like, right now I'm rank 18, I think. Like, let's let's see how far up this high scores we can get. I'm really excited to see, like, can I get to rank 1? I'm actually added rank 1. I'm friends that he's not online just now. So here's the construction high scores. As you can see, wow, I'm rank 15 now. That's kind of cool. Uh, so, I mean, in a few levels, I can really get quite a lot of ranks. You know, I just need, like, I mean, what if I ever get level 90, you know, that's within the top 10. That's absolutely awesome. So, um, yeah, I just want to see how far I can get. I'm 
it's the rank one that added me uh, fiction. I'm friends with him on RuneScape now, he's kind of cool. Um, he said that he might be willing to let me pass him for one day so I can get a screenshot, and then he wants his rank back, so <laughs> that'll be kind of funny. Uh, he's a 14 mil XP now, and uh, you know, that's the thing, like, I kind of don't want to go and do Hunter, get 99 Hunter, because by the time I come back and do construction, you know, these guys could have like 20 mil con construction XP. And it's just going to cost so much more, so I'm much better off just doing construction just now while nobody's really trading it. Like, um, I don't know how active these guys all are, but, um, you know, now's my time. Like, this, an opportunity like this might not be available for us to do this uh, in the future. Like, I just worked that out real quick. I need, like, 180,000 oak planks to get to 99, and uh, say if I bought those, like, 400 each, that's 72 mil. I mean, it's a, a ridiculous amount of money, so... Um, for me to save up that amount of money, it would just take forever, so I think I'm just going to try and do them both at the same time, like find some sort of balance, and uh, just, yeah, let's let's just see how far I can get, so. So yeah, thanks for watching, I'm going to try and work out some sort of plan where I could either sell you guys costume room stuff for money, and work out how much it would cost me to make them myself, or either just tr sw uh, make a bunch of them and just swap them for you guys if you give me the materials for them. So um, I'll let you guys know in one of my next videos, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys there. Thanks.